I've done so many title tutorials throughout the years, but I've never done one that's all based on full screen graphics. What I mean by that is taking one title and turning it into a full screen motion graphic composition. As you see here, one title fills up everything. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three techniques to creating full screen title typography right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Be sure to check out our Instagram below. We're posting one minute tutorials on there three days a week. So if you're ready to take your work to the next level and produce some awesome titles instead of having a single title in your After Effects work, let's jump into our tutorial. Let's get started. Alrighty, you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. In our first technique, we're going to create these full screen titles that you see here in the background that blend so well. We're going to put that together first and then we'll get in the title. So first technique, full screen title graphics. So here we are in our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a title. That's the first thing you should do. Type out your, you know, one of your main titles uh, with the textile tool. And when that's ready to go, what we'll do is we'll take this layer and go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it title placeholder and click OK. We'll come back to this composition in a second. I just want to set this up. Then what we'll do is we'll take this layer and we'll duplicate it. Come here to the bottom one. We'll come here to generate and we'll grab fill. And we can come here and we can change our color to like a dark red here or any other dark color you want. This is where we're going to start really changing the color of the scene here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to effect blur sharpen and grab CC radial fast blur. All right, we'll come here and we'll set the amount up to maybe 95. And one thing you'll notice is that there's an anchor point in this effect. What we'll do is come here from the left side and we'll add a keyframe for center. Come to the end of our composition and we'll have this animate over to the other side. And we'll have this animate over to the other side like this. Awesome. We'll turn our original layer back on. We can take our uh, blur here and duplicate it by going to edit, duplicate. This will stand out even more. Then what we'll do is we'll grab all three of these compositions and we'll pre-compose them. And we can call it title blur or shadow, whatever you want. Okay. And one thing you might notice in your main composition is that there's a cut here with the blur. To fix this, it's very simple. Go back into the previous composition. And what we'll do is we'll go to composition, click on composition settings, increase the width by a lot there, click OK, go into the previous composition and do the same exact thing. And that will help with any cuts there. And now what we'll do is we can create a solid background. So I'll go to layer new solid and we'll make it like a nice little bright red here. Click OK. Call it background and we'll come here to the blend mode and set this to multiply beautiful now that's going to be in there and we can take this layer and move it down here to the bottom we can duplicate it move it up one and continue to create several different duplicates of this it's starting to come together let's come here and create a new adjustment layer and let's come here to do effect noise and grain and just add the noise effect we'll set this up to like 16 percent uncheck use color noise and that'll kind of help blend things a little bit better together here all right technique number two we're going to talk about animating these titles, creating a tracking effect. And also before we begin, I went ahead and also scaled up each of these titles to be a little bit larger so they fit pretty nice in the composition. I also added just some black letter box here just for some aesthetic. So what we can do is go into our original composition that we had the original placeholder and we can animate this very easily. What we can do is open this up, come here to animate and just add a quick scale to this. We'll set this down to 0% and we can also come here to add and add a tracking. And what we'll do here is just bring down the tracking to kind of clamp in on itself. And what we'll do is open the range selector, add a keyframe for start, and move forward maybe by a second or so, and set it up to 100%. We'll do two seconds here. So you'll have this animation. But what we want to do is keep the animation fluid. So we'll come here to animate and we'll add another tracking to this. Come here to the beginning of our timeline and add a keyframe for tracking, and move to the end here, and we'll just continue to have this track forward here, just like this. This way, there'll be constant animation within the title. And in our main composition, this will update, and that looks pretty cool, but we want to take this animation even further. So what we'll do is we'll grab each of our title layers, and we'll hit P on keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for these, and we'll move to the end of our composition here, and we'll just simply you know, move the X values of this over. So these titles will be animating in the background. And then we take each of these layers here, and we can just offset them in time so they don't all come in at the same exact moment you know, in time here. And when it's all said and done, you should have a really cool composition reveal in with your big title like this. And it's really cool just to have that in the background. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to have this original main title in here. So you can do that by taking your title layer, duplicating it. Um, what we'll do is just take out the position, keyframe animations, right? And we'll come here, scale it down and change the blend mode back to normal. 
and we can just kind of put this in the center of our composition all right and now with our title added on top of everything it looks really cool we can put a main title here and start building out the scene with our next technique and because we don't do any sponsors on this channel i gotta give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for after effects so this is our motion graphics professionals pack which has over 1400 templates right here for after effects along with a handful of categories but one category we'll take a look at is the titles. So what you can do is preview a template before you apply it, and when you find the right template, you click on apply. And with a click of a button, we have a full title animation inside of our composition. We can go into that comp and quickly change out our titles, and you can easily change colors with a click of a button. And everything will update in our main composition. This animated background is from our motion graphics high tech category where you can just apply a really cool background. We also have some really cool particle overlays in here as well that you can apply into any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work and have access to all the templates you need, you can take a look at any of the packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. All right, in our third technique, I'm gonna show you how to create this cut across your title. Very fun and easy to do. All right, so I have another title in here just doing its own animation. You know, we go ahead and type out another title or you can just do this on your main title, but what you'll do is grab that title layer and you'll go to layer pre-compose. You can call it cut placeholder, doesn't matter to me. And what we'll do is come here to the top, grab the pen tool right here and we'll create this cut to go across and we'll just kind of close that up, perfect. All right, then we'll take this layer, we'll duplicate it and put it underneath everything. And then hit M on your keyboard for mask and just delete the mask one. Grab the top layer, go to effect, uh, perspective, and grab drop shadow. And we can come here and maybe just change the direction a little bit to just fit exactly where it needs to be right underneath the mask. Just like that, perfect. And we'll come here to softness and set this up to 125. Okay, then we'll take our drop shadow, we'll duplicate it. And this time we'll set the opacity up to 100%. And we'll come here to softness, bring that down by a little bit so it makes it a little bit more noticeable and you can bring down the distance to maybe three. Okay, awesome. If you want, you can take these two layers, pre-compose it. Uh, it doesn't really do much, but it kind of cleans it up. So now you can have a really cool typography scene with you know a title and even another title that has a cut on it. So those are some really cool techniques to put together a full After Effects project like this. Boom, that's another title tutorial done. That may have been my 100th title tutorial. I don't know, I've done so many of these, but this is the first one where we do the full screen graphics. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and fun to do. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.